Hey everybody, Sean from Media Assault here. And this week I've got something a little bit different for you. This is going to be a hardware review for the Xbox 360. I say that because it's not really just for the Xbox 360. This thing will actually work with anything that you can put on a Cat5 internet uh, connection. So what it is, is it's the Mad Cats wireless N adapter for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. Uh, this will work with anything with an Ethernet cable connection, basically. Um, one of the things that's cool about this is that it's cheap. Uh, if you want to get the Xbox 360 wireless N adapter from Microsoft, it's going to set you back about 100 bucks. This thing I bought off of eBay for $34. Now, there's a catch. The Microsoft one plugs directly into your Xbox 360 and is immediately recognized by the system and it's configured through the, through the system. This thing requires some computer networking know-how. Uh, not a lot, it's not like you need an IT degree for this thing to work, but this isn't plug and play at all. Uh, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. So for not spending as much money, you do get a little bit more aggravation. And that's one of the things I don't like about this. But the price is why I bought it. So what it comes with, you get this box. And as you can see, it's kind of marked up because I got mine used, but whatever. Um, here's your box. And what do you get? You get this thing, which looks like a mini router. Uh, you've got the connector in the back here for the network cable, antenna, some lights. Uh, power switch and you get an AC adapter and this really really short network cable now of course you can use your own but this is the one that comes with it so be prepared to use your own unless you're sitting this directly on top of your Xbox 360 now I'm going to continuously refer to the Xbox 360 because this is why I bought it um, but like I said this will work with the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 anything that you can plug an Ethernet cable into the back of to get it online. But this will make it wireless. That's the whole point. Um, so I'm going to show you what it's like to set this thing up. Uh, one of the things it comes with is this setup disk, which is conveniently on a disk that doesn't work very well with laptop drives. But the way I'm going to show you how to set it up, you won't need this. You won't need the ridiculously bad instructions. And you won't need this at all. This is just a sort of a uh, description of the parts that come in the box. You won't need any of that because you're going to watch this video and I'm going to teach you how to set it up painlessly and very easily. Save yourself hours and hours of frustration because you're going to learn from my pain. So I'll be back in just a second with the setup of the Mad Cats wireless and adapter for the Xbox 360. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the Mad Cats wireless N adapter for the Xbox 360. Now, a little bit about my setup here. I've got my Xbox 360 set up next to my TV, and behind my TV, I've got a desktop computer, which I use the TV for a monitor. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch back and forth between the Xbox and the computer so you can see how this thing is set up. Like I said, this thing is not plug and play. You don't just plug it into the Xbox and configure it. You have to use a computer to configure it. And hopefully this video will allow you to configure it without the frustration that I went through trying to get this thing to work uh, for the very first time. So no tricks, no edits. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible so I don't run out of time. Uh, but I'll show you how to do this uh, at least on a Windows 7 machine. Now I can't make a video example for every version of Windows. Unfortunately there are many different versions and there's a whole bunch of different ways to set this up as far as networking setups go. Uh, but I'm going to show you this on Windows 7 because that's what I have on my desktop. Um, and I'm not going to show you how to configure a router or any of that kind of stuff because if you have any uh, hesitation towards setting up a router or you've had trouble with it, I'll just tell you right now, go buy the Microsoft Wireless N adapter and be done with it. It's a hell of a lot easier to set up than this thing. And that's the main problem with this adapter 
is that it's difficult to set up. So with that caveat in mind, let's begin. Okay, so just to show you right now, I do have the Xbox hooked up. It is on Xbox Live. It is on a wired connection. Um, and just to show you that, yes, I am actually hooked up. As you can see I'm signed out. And we'll go ahead and we'll test. My network is connected, internet is connected. And... There we go with the Xbox Live test. And we're up and running. Xbox Live working fine. Okay, now, as I mentioned, the wireless end adapter comes with this ridiculously short network cable, which is not going to fit or reach the back of my computer. So I'm going to use overkill and use a really, really long connector. But I don't have anything going on with this except power right now because I want to show you this is from scratch. I'm setting this up. No tricks, no wires, no weirdness. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the network cable into the back of the adapter. So here is one end into the back of the adapter. Okay. And I've got my really long cord here. It's going to go into the back of my computer. And hopefully not make a big mess. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. <clears throat> 